basically what I want you all to do is follow our Instagram page, which I'm going to tell you all is Palestine Solidarity BCP. So follow that. Any post you make, tag us and uh, we'll share it to our page. So that's the first thing. But the reason that's important is because, you know, we're like five weeks now of demonstrating and it's really easy for people to start drifting away and not building, keeping that momentum. But the people of Gaza had, don't have that choice. So we need to keep the momentum going um, and make it stronger. Um, so what I'd ask you, you know, these protests are brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and we need to build on those, but we also need to really, really up our game on social media because that's where a lot of messages go out. It's where a lot of younger people, especially, I'm not one of them, but apparently that happens, um, uh, you know, get their information, get educated. I'm seeing for the first time in years people are actually starting to understand for real what is happening in Palestine and not the you know the rubbish they're fed by the by the media the right wing media the right wing media are, are really 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 kind of going at it to try and cancel that message and ooh, and cancel the can you hear me and cancel the um the actual truth so it's more important than ever that we keep that momentum keep Keep, keep um, sharing messages, sharing education, keep it, uh, I mean, I don't need to tell anybody here, but if you see friends or anybody you know saying anything remotely anti-Semitic, challenge that. Anti-Zionism is not anti-Semitism. That is such an important message. And we will get smeared with that. You know, we have been for years. Um, so keep it, keep it going. Keep the Instagram and social media going. Just don't ever stop doing that, because that is actually how the world gets changed. Woo!